Well, once again, I'm Curvy Calm. I'm a lamer, and I suck. And uh, <clears throat> I want to. What we're doing on this stream is we're doing the Lucky Doom Mount, which is the Grand um, the Grand Expedition Yak. Um, uh, that is not a rep grind, it's a gold grind, so it's kind of a... Um, let me switch to the game view so I don't forget to do it. Uh, so, but I'm here on my banker because it's a, it involves gold. I, I'm not doing like fancy arbitrage or anything like that, but I am doing a, I am doing a lot of banking because, uh, you know, you just, you just, you gotta sell your stuff to get gold, and so uh, that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, kind of quickly post this stuff. Uh, I didn't get much gold, but I, I was just on just a little bit ago, so it's not a big deal. Uh, as per tradition, I want to be dancing, uh, and uh, um, because you know that's what trial of style is all about. That's how it got started. If people didn't dance in the auction house while they were auctioning, then you know uh, there wouldn't have been any there wouldn't have been any uh um there wouldn't have been any trial of style it was that's where they got the idea from people used to dance in the auction house when they sat sat up and did all their uh um they sat up did all their auctioning and and stuff so uh i'm gonna go ahead and uh i'll scan the auction house real quick doesn't take very long takes less than 30 seconds for the whole thing really so i'm gonna do that Forty thousand or auctions. It seems like the number of auctions is going up. You know, um, in general, the the um, seems like the count in the last in this this week has gone way up. It was sort of around third mid thirty thousands, and now there's like more things on the auction house. And I don't know if it's cyclical with the weekend or whatever. I mean, that could be. But in any case. Uh, I'm going to batch whatever I've got on the batch list, and uh, uh, and uh, I've got a couple of items. Uh, looks like uh, they're priced properly. Uh, yeah, I think so. So I'm going to I'm just going to go with that, and then uh, um. Yeah, we're just uh we're just doing that. I got uh Lurk someone says lurk for lurk, flink flank. I got to make sure I think I'm following you, don't I? Aren't I? Okay. Uh I think I think I'll do it. Uh I'll join Okay. And uh, so I got a. Anyone that wants to message me, follow for follow or flink for or flink for flank, uh, whatever, uh, uh, lurk for lurk or anything, just. Uh, just uh do so and uh if i don't see you uh uh okay so uh that's it. I've I've done my auctioning. Uh I I seem to remember that I uh 
that I left uh, my, I, I sent things to my main accidentally when I was trying to send them to my banker, so I'm not sure what's going on when it comes to the, the lurking thing, but you know, I I don't even know. I'm just, I have more lurkers than I've had in the past, so that's kind of cool. I'm just going to log out. I'm going to, I'm going to log out. I'm going to get into, uh, I'm going to get into my, uh, my main here. And, uh, here's my main. She's all gussied up. Uh, and, uh, we'll just, uh, We'll just uh, um, see if we can right the wrongs of the of the mailbox here. I'm sure I got the wrong things and some of the wrong things in here. So here we go with this stuff. And uh, basically just uh, this uh, is just uh, um, an item for, uh, this is just an item for, for transmog. And then everything else is just, uh, it just has went to the wrong person. So let's just uh, move these along back where they belong. I'm not going to go back to log into the banker again now, but I'll just, uh, I'll just uh, leave. Oh, maybe I will. What the heck? Maybe I, maybe I will. I guess I should uh, sell this uh, um, to a vendor. I'll sell it to the innkeeper. Nine gold. Be careful. You know, it's something. No, it's not nothing. So every little bit helps. She doesn't have much gold on her. I had, I traded, I took all my gold and moved it mostly the char most of it to the characters that I'm playing, which are basically the banker for the mount and also the uh, the druid that I'm playing because I'm doing druid while leveling. That's ostensibly what the stream is called. So basically, that's really all I need to do. I'm going to log out of this character now. I'll log back into my banker, and then I'll I'll uh, I'll bank those things. I'll I'll auction those things because you know no time. No. Um, uh, someone says, "Uh, gonna follow me too." I'm already following you. Already following you. That's what I'm doing. I'm already following you. Okay. And lurking. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, yeah. Uh, it's all, it's all just fine. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm trying to look more at my chat window because, uh, um, people try to talk to me and then I don't, and then I don't see. You know, sometimes, so I'm going to try to, you know, look over. It is in a prominent place. It's not completely impossible to see. But um, I'm, uh, I'm going to get these things and uh, open all of this. And I should be able to, uh, you know, I think my, oh, look at that. That's a cloud serpent that's a stars. I wonder if that's a, I wonder if that's a cloud serpent that's uh that's, um, um, I don't know, what am I trying to say? But whatever, I got a dance though. I got happy feet. Uh, let's see, so I'm not gonna bother with uh, re rescanning. Dad is only 16 minutes old, that's good enough. I'm gonna go ahead and just post. I'm gonna go with uh, a slightly lower price for the starting price though on some of these things. Uh, it just doesn't make sense to, uh, um, to have like a super high starting price because you know you never get rid of stuff if you just always post it for like the maximum. So um, at least I can. Uh, um, let's see now. This one here, this one here needs uh, some. Uh, okay, this one here needs something, and I can do that, and, uh, all right, so, uh, that seems to be, uh, um, and, uh, 
uh, I guess that's it then. I guess there's no more. There's no more to do here. I'm just going to go hang out by the mailbox and uh, and then log in. Stormwind City is under attack. I see no evidence of that at the moment, but it could be happening. Um, someone's trying to get past the guards. I guess I don't know. Anyway, logging out and logging back in. Uh, I say thanks, all you lurkers. Mm. Thanks, all you lurkers. Okay. Uh, there's Elisa. Uh, oh, yeah. Heroes of the Alliance, I write to you in, in Azeroth's darkest hour. From the Maw of Hell, the burning armies of the Legion have returned. Oh, no, it's this thing. Okay, so it's trying to get me to do the Legion starting event. Our fleets depart from Broken Isles at once. Your ship awaits in Stormwind Harbor. Make haste. All right, fine. Heroes I'm. Of the Alliance, I write to you in Azeroth. I don't want to talk to. Uh, I don't want to hear Varian Rin's entire speech again. So I'm cutting it short. Um, so you know, I kind of want to talk about the fake job a little bit. You know, this this uh, streaming thing. It's a fake job. It's like a job. But it's not a job, and it's a thing to do when you're not doing anything, and it feels a lot like a job. So uh, all the stuff you have to do and all the things you have to learn and all the things I've already learned and all the things I have yet to learn, which are very, very many, um, it does feel like uh, you're, you're definitely working. I mean, it's like any business. Like if you have a business, uh, whether it's a brick-and-mortar business or what, you're basically... L you're basically making nothing the first day you open your doors. Nothing's happening. And then you may not turn a profit for a year or sometimes less time, but sometimes you turn a profit right away and sometimes you don't. But you got to have uh you got to have some staying power. You got to have the ability to keep going. And uh but that's not why I'm doing this. This is uh this is because I'm having trouble figuring out what to do with myself these days. So, uh and it's better to I think I think basically a guy has to work, you know? And and I don't of course I don't mean just a guy, but I'm saying that in reference to myself. Man's gotta work. Man's gotta earn a living. Man's gotta do stuff, you know? And so if you're not doing stuff, you gotta do stuff anyway, and this is uh kind of what's going on here. So it's pretty it's pretty good. It's pretty better, it's pretty a lot better than just playing games all day. Uh, which is something you would do if you weren't working, you know, you would just sit and play World of Warcraft or Skyrim or whatever, and you know, I do a certain amount of that, but uh, I just decided, well, you know, maybe, maybe it would be good if I just uh, did something like turn my, uh, turn my, my gaming into a fake job, you know, like a, um, like a, like a, you know, feel like I'm doing something. Now, I do a lot of rerunning of streams because I cannot stick to a schedule. Now, I do almost uh, I do almost eight hours of streaming a day. I probably do, uh, I'm, I don't know, six to eight hours. I do uh, over two hours per stream, and I usually do three, three streams a day. And I sleep in a really weird way. I've got, like, a weird schedule that never makes any sense. And, you know, when I worked... Uh, a regular job. If I ever worked a nine to five, it was awful because basically I just got more and more and more tired every every day, and it was just awful. But but uh, I I do kind of sleep weird, and my schedule tends to ro rotate around like probably like a lot of streamers and YouTubers that are full time at it. But I just I'm already that way. So um, this is how this is kind of how I'm wired. So it gives me the ability to uh, and and you know one of the the advice from the the advice from the uh, from the Twitch people when you start reading, oh, you know, stick to a streaming schedule. Well, I can't do that. But what I can do is I can stream 24 hours a day via my reruns and uh, premieres, and uh, um, and then when I'm live, I'm live. I can announce it on Twitter. I can announce it on Facebook. I can, you know, I'm, my my accounts are all linked. So 
it's pretty good. All the information's down below in the channel. So uh, I got uh, right now five of you lurking, I guess. So that's pretty cool. That's very nice. I I um, I've seen it go as high as six or seven um, today. I don't know if someone messages me, I'll I'll uh, I'll go for it. Uh, someone says, lurk for lurk, lurk for lurk, I'll lurk, and uh, I'll lurk while you're lurking, or I'll even lurk if you're not lurking, I don't really care. So, I figure it helps out everyone, and I really don't care. I, I don't care if I get a lurk back. If I do, God bless you. If not, that's fine. You know, I'm happy to help out by lurking in your channel. So, you know, I'm cool with it. Anyway, uh, um... It's uh, it's pretty neat. I um, I usually you know when I start streaming, I don't have the ability to multitask very well. I'm not. I'm I, mean, I have terrible ADD. It's 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 very difficult. It's why I vape, you know, um, and uh, drink the diet soda. Is that I got you know kind of a little caffeine and a little nicotine. Uh, both kind of help out with ADD. And uh, you know I I can take Ritalin, I suppose, but I do have a prescription for it. It's it's fine. I take it sometimes. But in any case, uh, it's hard to uh, multitask for me. So I can't. Like some people can do all this all at the same time. It's very difficult for me. So I will periodically, I guess, take a break and look for more lurkers and tell more people I'm going to lurk. But you know, I, it's it's like I don't know how people can people can do it while they're fighting or while they're playing Fortnite or something. I just have no idea how they can do that. But. They are very good at managing their time and attention, and uh, I think I have yet to be very good at that. So, but you know, anyway. So the fake job—it's a real job in a way. I mean, I'm not getting paid really. I, there are ways to get paid doing it. I understand that, but uh, I'm not doing it for that reason. I'm doing it because you've got to have a thing you do. And uh, I've done other things over the years when I didn't have anything to do. Some of them were a lot harder than this. Um, you know, um, as fake jobs go, this is the dream fake job because, uh, for example, writing is very, very difficult. Uh, I mean, I love doing it, but it is very demanding, you know, on your cerebrum. <laughs> and, uh, and you burn out pretty easily because it's actually pretty hard to do. And if you're good at it or if you take it, you know, let's not say if you're good at it, but if you take it seriously, even as an amateur, and you do a lot of it, uh, regardless of whether your stuff is fit for uh, publication or not, you still put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into it, and it takes a long time, and you just spent hours and hours and hours doing it and thinking about it and trying to make it better. And all that stuff that you do, it definitely adds up. I love doing it. There's a lot of things I love doing that are much, much harder to do than this. But uh, um, this is pretty hard, too, though, in a way, because there's the learning curve, and there's the trying to figure out what you should be doing, and... Uh, you know, there's like the the things like, you know, if you if you see if I were to look up and find out like the best things to do, some of them I probably wouldn't even want to do some of them. You know, so that's the thing is, you know, this 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 allows you to do what you like to do, which is in my case I'm playing World of Warcraft and leveling, and you know, <clears throat> I'm doing this while everyone else in the world is playing Fortnite and PUBG. I probably, I may never play PUBG or Fortnite. I don't know, I may try it, but basically you just parachute in and then you get killed immediately. That's pretty much PUBG and Fortnite. But uh, at least Fortnite looks like a little bit more fun in a way. But, but uh, um, PUBG is more photorealistic, I guess. But it, uh, um, I don't know, basically, uh, and everyone's out there using hacks and stuff, and you can get shot through buildings and people can see you and, around corners and stuff like that and you know it's hard to it's hard to know you know like people are really good at it even it's hard to know if you if you've messed up when you get killed or if someone is just cheating so uh one thing i'll say about wow is there's not a lot of cheating in wow um uh, blizzard has been very very good about figuring out how to keep people from doing that and 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 restricting the 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 functions and the gameplay functions so that it's very difficult to cheat. They have very advanced and they may have patented anti-cheating software at this point. I think they have their own in-house stuff. It's amazing how their client works and how well their uh, their game, how good their gameplay is. Their gameplay has always been solid 
Um, it's just amazing how well it works considering there are lag issues and all this kind of thing. And it's amazing how, uh, it's amazing how well it works. And that's what, you know, you, you play other MMOs and sometimes you feel like you're hitting things and it's not saying you're hitting them and you're obviously hitting them and you're targeting something and it says you're not targeting it and it, it's, there's delays and it, it just doesn't, you know, it just doesn't work. Like WoW has always been really tight the way it worked and it always had a sense that your attacks were doing what they were supposed to when they were supposed to. And, um... And you know, so so I you know I say a lot of you know people diss on WoW a lot, but you know it's hard to make a game like this and have it actually work, and have millions of people playing it all at the same time. It's just amazing, you know. Um, it's amazing and uh, it's it's wondrous. And the art in World of Warcraft is just gorgeous. There's it's it's uh, you know people say it's like an older style game. There's games that kind of don't that look like this that. Um, aren't nearly as popular though and uh, it's cartoony there's not real lighting everything's lit from you know everything's lit internally um, there's very little even shadows and stuff are not kind of they're kind of simulated um, there's no light like there's no there's my shadow there there's no light source up there casting that shadow it's just all in the same direction so um, just a little thing to add a little more realism to it be by utilizing the video cards capabilities anyway um, I gotta look in and see uh, check in with the recruiter at Storm Wind Harbor I so don't want to go do that and um, I will maybe after uh, maybe I'll go to Storm Wind Harbor just to get that out of just to get that off of my uh, um, just to get that off of my, uh, my, my quest log. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do that right now. Uh, I'm, since I'm, since I'm in kind of a chatty mood instead of, uh, instead of just jumping right into questing, maybe I'll do that because, you know, why not? Where's the, uh, where's the, uh, uh flight master, kite master? Flight master, kite master, where do you be? Uh, you be over here. Flight master, kite master, where have you gone? Well, as you see, this is like is kind of a jip too because it's like you know you're gonna you got the Klaxi flight master. A Klaxi should carry you, or a giant bug of some kind should carry you. It shouldn't be just a kite. You know, he doesn't even have a kite launcher here. You know, so why should it be a kite? At least down, at least down here at at, at soggy, grambled or the briny muck. That guy there, at least he has a kite launcher. So it kind of makes sense that you'd go on a kite. But this guy here, you know, I don't know. What was I doing again? I was going to, uh, I was going to, uh, to, uh, um, I want to go to Paw Dawn Village and, uh, and go through the portal. I want to go to Stormwind Harbor and finish that quest and then not take the next quest because I don't feel like, oh, you know, I see, I can, I can teleport. I could have used the rune thing to teleport too. Ah, that would have been faster. Maybe I'll hit this and get off the... See, that's what happens when you don't pay attention. I'll hit this thing, and I think I'll get off at the next stop, just like a bus. So... Anyway, the, the, the job is... It's the job or the fake job or whatever that this is, is you're doing what you're doing anyway, but you're... You are not just doing that. You're doing a lot. You're thinking about stuff. You're thinking about what you have to say instead of just being silent and doing whatever. Okay, I'm gonna hit the rune. Where's the rune? Why do I why does the rune not show? I had a I had a rune and now the rune is gone. Here is a rune. Okay, here we go. I think it's one use, right? The one use rune. Powerful rune granted to champions. I'm gonna take the rune. Alright, got the rune going. So I saw like all blue equipment and and um Alright, for some reason I could not get my flight form to, to, to work. Alright, where am I headed here? I'm going to shipyards. 
Okay. I'm going to the shipyards. Hold your tongue and say that. No, don't. Don't try that at home. Uh, anyway, uh, um, okay. Here we go. Recruiter. I'm just going to turn this in and I'm not going to take the thing. I've heard this tale before. Skip the Legion quests and begin your journey in Dalaran. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to do this. Okay. Okay, I'm going to complete that quest. I'm going to quit this. Careful. Then I'm going to go look well, at this yes. again. Now I can still skip. Okay, if I want to skip the Legion introductory quest, I can go directly to Dalaran and, uh, and, uh, I can, if I want to do that, I can do that, and that would be great. Uh, I, I certainly don't, I don't know. I mean, if I was streaming it, I might want to, uh, I might want to go ahead and, and, uh, I might want to go ahead and, and go through it. If I were streaming, it might make sense to stream it. Uh, but, you know, I could do that at some point. It's not like everyone, it's not like anyone has any idea, uh, Yeah, I don't really know. I'm just uh I'm just doing the thing here. Um Okay. So, let's see. Uh mm -hmm. So, anyway, I got I'm back at Srila Village and uh let's see where I can go now. I probably want to go get on the Griffin and go back to Claxeville. Uh, Tell me of your travels. All right, now, let me look at the map, see what there my objectives no are here. Uh, my objectives are as follows here. Looks like I've got a, a not-so-friendly request. Speak with Sapmaster Vu at the Brew Garden in the Dreadways. Okay, before I do that, though, I guess what I'm doing is I'm going to fly here. And then I'll do I'll do that, and and then from there I think those are mostly dailies that I took while I was doing other quests, so I'm not quite done with those. But I can fly over there and do that. That sounds fine. But you know what I usually do when I'm when I log on, I'm trying to lurk. I'm trying to do some lurking for people, and I kind of go down the list of uh, channels that I follow, and uh, um. And I look at the ones that are sort of like have less than 10 followers or less than 10 viewers, maybe 10 or less or something. Sometimes I might go a little higher, but especially if it's someone I know. But uh, I go down the list and I, uh, I go maybe down to the ones that have, you know, four or five or maybe even the ones that have only one or two or three. And I just, uh, I just say I introduce myself and I lurk on their channel and, and they lurk back, and if they don't know what to do, maybe I can tell them, you know, how to do it or whatever. And uh, I'm not sure, you know. I mean, I sometimes they get it, and sometimes they don't. I wouldn't have got it at the, in the beginning. I had no idea what any of this stuff was or what it even meant. So, but uh, you can do a lot of lurk for lurk and follow for follow stuff on Twitch, and you know, at least you get kind of the beginnings of a following. You know, it takes a while to get real people, like, watching your channel, but, you know, like, that aren't just trying to stream and make their stream numbers go up. But even the, even those people are welcome. I, you know what, I'm a streamer, and I stop by and spend time in people's channels, and sometimes I chat with them. I kind of want to try, like, uh, I kind of want to try um, uh, Twitch voice chat. Um, I, I got a Discord chat, but I want to do. I kind of want to do Twitch voice chat because I want to see how it works. I want to see if it works, and if it's uh, um, if it would, you know, like if it's if it's uh, uh, seamless, and if I can use it while I'm streaming OBS, uh, um, uh, if it will interrupt or mess up with my my um, my audio devices or whatever. And uh, I think if I do if I did it right, it would be. I think it would be kind of cool. I could maybe have another. Uh, I could maybe have another voice in the stream sometimes. That'd be cool, you know. A little back and forth might be nice. I'm kind of um, just the right person that you could team up with would be kind of fun. So uh, maybe somebody else that plays WoW or somebody else that just wants to chat might be good. But in any case, uh, 
uh, if you had a webcam, you know, and you did the video chat, <clears throat> I could uh, I could put you up on the stream, and uh, there'd be two, there'd be one in each corner, one on top of the other, or something like that, and we could have voice chat and have video chat at the same time. It'd be awesome. So, uh, what could I say? That'd be that'd be just so so great. Anyway, uh, um, amazing what technology can do. A anyone can be on TV now, even if they only have three viewers or whatever. But isn't that neat? Isn't that neat? It's the whole the whole world has changed. And uh, you know, I read an article once talking about how if the FCC never happened, um, basically what would have happened is that a form of cellular technology would have been invented a hundred years earlier, and it really wouldn't have made any difference. It wouldn't. The, the it would have uh, it would have. Um, brought about a, a communication revolution much earlier in our history um, because uh, basically the the airways would have been crowded if uh, if uh, a, a particular country had a hands-off on regulation that somehow what would have happened was probably that people would have figured out how to share frequencies um, in a in a scaling using a scaling method and it would have been, you know, it's actually, I looked into this uh, because it sounded a little far-fetched to me. And uh, it actually isn't all as far-fetched as you think. You know, they're basically using, like, even 1940s technology. You could have done scaling with radio towers and uh, relaying would have been hard, but you could have done it. And it would have, it, it could have happened, and it, it would have been, I don't think everyone could have been a radio station back in 1940, but there would have been a lot more to choose from, and a lot of people would have had, uh, a lot of people would have had, there would have been a lot more, uh, there would have been no need really for to regulate the airwaves and make it where people couldn't, uh, uh, people had to get licenses and stuff. And it, I mean, the licensing thing kind of makes sense if you think about it a certain way. You know, like all countries basically did that. And they still do, but now it's sort of moot uh, that they do it because basically it's just radio licenses and all the airwaves and bandwidth are shared. Like all the cell companies use all the same radio equipment, and uh, they just have time on different people's towers. And uh, a lot of people bought towers back in the 80s and 90s, you know, uh, um, back when you could just buy one. And use it as an investment or as a you know as a as a retirement program or something, and uh, they just run their tower and they sell time on it and that's how it works now. Uh, so a lot of the towers that that are used by um, big even big cell companies in rural areas are are like uh, um, um, just owned by owned by Joe that lives in the house right next door to where it is. So um, anyway. So let's see here. What we got going here is some stuff we, we have to go down here and do. There's actually a couple things. There's ga gambling problem and a not so friendly request. But so I guess what we'll do is we'll go for the uh, we'll go for the gambling problem first. But after we do this, I guess, unless uh, these quests don't take us somewhere else, I think this is kind of kind of going to be like a. Uh, what what all is this? This is uh. All right. Well, stealth kitty. What am I supposed to do with these guys? I'm supposed to get their shackles. That seems kind of harsh. I'm supposed to kill them for their shackles. Is that right? I'm supposed to kill this guy too for sure. But all right. Oh look. What's his name? Came down from the sky, but he didn't help me with this guy. Uh, so what am I supposed to do? I guess I'm supposed to just, uh... Okay. I don't know. Am I supposed to do some... What am I supposed to do? I didn't get any shackles, though, did I? I'm not sure if I... I didn't, I'm not sure if I got anything. I think I, I think I got nothing. I got nothing. What am I supposed to do? It says, uh... Shackles, shackles of manipulation. So what am I supposed to do? Collect shackles from the thought-bound miners? How do I do it? Uh, special shackles which enhance and prolong the effect of sonic manipulation. Is this technology that allows Xanthic?
manipulators command such large quantities of thralls to endlessly toil. I would like to study these shackles. All right. Well, so far I got none. All right, so uh, it doesn't seem to be there's like there doesn't seem to be any kind of. Uh, can I do this? Is this a thing? All right, I got some shackles that time, and someone is skinnable. I don't know. This spider, this scorpion, is skinnable. All right. These are borrowed from Cataclysm. These things look like, uh, I remember when they, sh they showed up in Deep Home, and, uh, whoa, the guy came down from the sky. He helped me kill these guys. He, he follows me around. He likes to kill people. So, uh, he just waits for, a, for an, a, an opportunity for a good gank, and he just, uh, he just unfairly descends from the sky, just like uh, just like the Hordes used to do when I went back when I was on a, a PvP server. So uh, they used to just drop out of the sky while I was uh, fighting when my health was down, and they'd just hit me a couple times, and I'd die. Okay. All right. There's one of those, and here's one of these, and one of those, and we'll see what we get here. I uh, wouldn't do that. Okay. I think I can get those guys both at the same time. I don't know, like where are those uh where are those shackled guys? Are they are there any more down here or what? I don't know. Okay, I got it. Um let's see. There's another guy down there. I don't know, I don't think I'm supposed to be going this way really. Alright, let me see here. Alright. I didn't even get that final attack off at all. Okay, that was pretty easy. Okay, I got all those guys now. I just need the shackles. And what else? Looks like I still need the shackles though, and the shackles are going to be round about here somewhere. I don't actually know. I don't see where they are or where they would be actually. So, but um, evidently I'm supposed to get this guy. Okay. Is that the thing that happens after he dies? The little spinny, the spinny sword thing? Oh, it's right, because I remember I was supposed to bring those weird swords to this guy because I was supposed to show he, he wanted to check out the weird swords. All right, so, uh, right, he wanted to check out the weird swords that had a mind of their own or something. Isn't that, wasn't that the quest? I think it might have been. Anyway, so shackles. Where are these guys? They should be shackled somewhere. I'm not seeing a lot of shackles. Here we go. Here's more of them here. Okay. Okay, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to do this, really. Okay. And something just happened there, and I got some shackles. So, like, where would these guys be, though? They're, they're, I'm not seeing a lot of them. I need to get up in the air a little bit, I think, maybe. There's there's none of them are here. What is that thing? That's really interesting. Okay, here's uh here's the thing. Alright. Shackles, I got five. Alright. What are these things? Oh. You if you if you if you run over them they open. If you click on them they also open. What are they for? Dread spore bulb. I can open it that way and then what happens? They just nothing. Uh all right.
Okay. He likes coming out of the sky. Okay, so I, I got everything but but this, but one. So there's like this thing over here. And uh, Xanthic, Amber, something slain. Uh, now he's probably not going to be out in the open. I'll bet he he's going to be in a hole. Bugs like to go in a hole and do stuff. Hole stuff, right? Uh, no. This is just, it's just a bunch of, killing a bunch of scorpions. That's all it is. That reminds me of the South Park episode. Oh no, he summoned scorpions. Uh, I'm not sure where they got the summoning scorpions thing. I don't think there was a spell that did that. I'm not sure what they were thinking when it came to that. Uh, So, uh, yeah, these scorpions have pretty high health considering what level I am now. I don't know, I want to hit that a couple times and that's pretty good. They don't move very fast. I suppose it kind of makes sense if they don't move very fast to just hit them, hit them like that. I can hit them a couple times, and by the time they get over here, I don't even really need to dot them. But if I do, then all right, is that it for scorpions? I think it is. Look at that. So so yeah, I guess uh, I guess basically what I need to do now is just go turn these in. And so that's what I'll do. And then I can go do the, the other things. I'm not going to do any more of these dailies. But uh, so, yeah, um, the fake job. You think reflections on the fake job. It's, it's, uh, it's um, oh, look, I discovered something and I got 1164 for it. Merc scale shallows. That's so surprising that there are anything left on the list for me to discover. But in any case, I want to go over here. I guess I want to highlight one of those quests, so I'll go in the right direction. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty, you know, I mean, um, I like having something to do rather than nothing. So um, it does completely change your demeanor when you are going to do something in a day and you actually have a plan and you do it. And... Uh, Um, it makes a huge difference. I, you know, I don't know. It's very, it's very, um, it's hard to put a finger on what's different about it, but it really is different. It's different. So, you know, I don't know how long I'll be doing it or, or whatever, but, uh, I think, uh, um, I think I've got, let me see, uh, maybe I'll say while I'm, well, next time I get on the Griffin, where where am I anyway? Did I did I fly past my destination? I think I did. Uh, so I want to turn all these in, and these really are just going to mostly be daily. Some of them weren't. I don't know exactly which ones were and which ones weren't, but uh, I, I might as well turn these in. I don't know if I have, uh, do I have the amber pieces? Uh, let me see here on this. Uh uh, yeah, I want to sort this stuff, and, uh, okay. And, uh, what's that? Stylish toe ring, just a little too big. Where do they find these things? So, I got, okay, dread amber shards. Okay, I can turn that in because I have five. Okay. For, I don't remember who it goes to. Seeds of fear, is that right? Some of the corrupt... Car okay, slivers. Okay, find me any in your travel so that we may be disposed of properly. Uh, as long as these shards blanket the land, our home will be a place of fear and death. All right, I did it, and I got uh, 250 rep for that. And uh, I am so, um, 
Gear the Bloodseeker. Did I miss? I oh, I found another Paragon buried somewhere. The All right. Empress must fall. Okay. Uh, and I got a no mercy. Vest guard duty. Okay, one the by one, her champions fail. And then uh, here's another thing. Shackles of manipulation. And uh, last but not yes, least right. here, uh, Meltdown. All right, the Meltdown. Okay, so now now I got some kind of a quest to go here, uh, Skier the Bloodseeker. So before I do that, I don't know, uh, maybe I should, um, maybe I should go, maybe I should, I, I, I'm okay on my quest log, so I think I could easily just go, let me see, what what is this here? What's this? There's another quest. The Xanthic Dig. There's more. Gosh, there's so many quests in here. It's, it's, it's easy to miss them. Okay, the, the Xanthic Dig. That's down there. That's another destination. No uh, flight point down there. Okay, unless he'll take me there. Will he take me anywhere? He won't take me anywhere, will he? Okay. He is not interested in going anywhere. So, uh... All right, so I guess what I'll do is I think maybe I'll turn all these in and I'll kind of do that type of thing. Um, I'll just go by the uh, thing. I'll go up. I'll go up and then I'll go I'll go north and then I'll go south. You are far from home. Okay, Sunset Brew Garden. I'll go up that way. That I'll start with that. And then... Uh, While I'm going there, maybe I should uh, look and see what, uh, see what I can do for lurking here. I want to see what I got here. Okay. Okay, let's see. Okay. Okay. All right. What? What? I just uh, typed that. I did. I were not. A, I were not on a channel. Uh. I just don't want to hit, I don't want to hit enter for that. All right, hang on here. I see I can't multitask. It's, it's, it's hopeless. Um, all right. Let me see about the quest here before I do anything. I'll do that. I'll look, I'll talk to these brewmaster guys. Tell me of your travels. Tell me of your travels. What are you doing here? I would like to know. What are you doing? That's a good question. We're a strange lot. Not many Pandaren choose to live on this side of the wall. In short, we're making beer. Not just any beer, though. Beer brewed with the sap of the great Kapari trees. Beer made with sap? Disgusting, I know, but it's not. The amber that these trees produce has amazing healing properties, and the mantid can't get enough of it. They consume it. They use it in their weapons and architecture. I even heard legends they embalm their great heroes in this stuff. And you make beer out of it? Exactly. The traditions of the sap masters uh, reach back through countless generations. I am but one link in a chain of sap-thirsty Pandaren. Sometimes, however, I fear I may be the final link. Why is that? The trees are dying. Kaparivor is already dead, a victim of the Shah. It will never again produce amber. It barely even looks like a tree anymore. A few amber-producing trees that remain are either being over-harvested by the mantid or in danger of succumbing to the shaw. Either way, no more sap means no more sap masters, at which point I'd have to return to my old job. What was your old job? Dumpling presser. Okay. Vu size. Family, okay. Friends. Food. 
Dumpling Jeez, presser. So okay. See, so oh, it's like dripping sap. Sap's dripping. I get it. Lots of sap dripping here. You can make beer out of it. A not-so-friendly request. Okay. So they want us to leave, do they? What a selfish request. We're only taking amber from one tree. Well, I'm not going to. I'm not going anywhere. I have brew to make. If you help us, maybe we can all come to some mutually beneficial agreement. I give them some brew. They stop trying to kill us. Uh, uh, maybe that'll be. The Mantid don't ever make my job easy, but now they're, they've gone too far. We can fend off the occasional attack from Corvus, but now they're starting to surround us. What's worse, they're draining the amber from our tree. This will not stand. We need that amber to make beer. They've dug a burrow into the south side of the tree. I'm shorthanded here. Can you take care of them for me? May you find mastery. All right, shorthanded. Is that it? Okay. Now there's going to be a kite master. I'm going to fly down to, uh, to uh, what is it, gambling, uh, what is it, uh, Soggy Gamble. Hello. Okay. Soggy Gamble is located here. Soggy's Gamble. All right, now while we go down there, I'm going to have a look here at this and see what, see what's what. See, I'm going to kind of look for, uh, the thing to do is to kind of look for, uh, um, these are not in any kind of an order, uh, um, Okay, let's have a look. Let's let's have a look. Let's pick one guy. Let's Johnny Blaze. Hey, Johnny Blaze. How you doing there? Okay. Uh, and okay. I'm gonna do it. Okay. 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 Ooh, I hear an alarm of some kind going off, so I'll be right back. I, that's not an alarm alarm, it's just a it's just a, a cooking alarm. No no need to worry. Need 
much in here, just a little. Okay. All right, I'm sorry for leaving my headphones on, but it's easier than taking them off. Okay, so where in the world am I and what am I doing here? Uh, all right. I bet you these are guys you can get rep with, too. It's like they'll probably be dailies here, too, I'll bet. So here's this thing. They're carrying uh, they're carrying fish around. Look, there's a guy carrying a big... What is he, like, carrying that fish up there? Is he going to hang it up? I should like watch and see what he does. Oh, this is really interesting. He's carrying a big fish up. It's kind of not very balanced. Uh, is he going to put it? Where is he going to put it? Are you going to take it in here? Is he going to put it in the pot or something? That's it. He's going to put it somewhere and it disappeared, basically. Just carrying the fish. It disappears. All right. So fine. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, let's see. Um, prove the mist topper. Oh, there's a there's a, a, a what you call it repair vendor thing, and they got cool nets here. This guy jumps across. He's gonna like what? Get another big fish and carry it off. Oh, he's gonna get it out of here, right? Is that what he's gonna do? Or is he gonna get it out of that crate or something? I wonder what he's gonna do. I'm going to watch for a little bit. Not too oh, long, speaking. though. All right. So uh, we got ga gambling problem. So the bugs are taking an interest in us, have they? Well, they want something from us. They'll have to come and earn it for themselves. You work for what you get here. That means you, too. Good okay. Day. Mazu's breath. Here to help, are you? Well, first things first. Airy... Rummages through her pockets for a moment before producing a small vial of glowing blue fluid. Here it is, Mazu's breath, Captain's own formula. What? You thought I'd send you out to sea without a means of breathing? I need deckhands, not corpses. Down the hatch with it, green. This will give you a fighting chance out there on the shelf, okay? Okay. All right. So first I want to drink the potion. So I drank it. See what happens. I drank the potion. And what do I do here? I drank the potion. You'll thank me later. Okay, get my reward. Fresh pots, you ought or know. We got a load of empty crab pots out there. Need fresh bait. Now we could pull them up one at a time, bait them up here in comfort, nice chair to sit on, maybe a hot cup of tea to keep you warm, sounds nice, doesn't it? Never going to happen. Head to Lonesome Cove immediately southwest, bait those pots with two chunks of fresh sea monarch, by fresh I mean killed right there in the water, and oh by pots I mean traps, if you want to be part of the crew you better learn the lingo. Okay. May your deeds live and on story. you ought to know. You know what happened to the bait in those pots? Otters, that's what happened. We, they prefer fresh clams, but they'll pick our crab traps clean if they're hungry enough. The otters in Lonesome Cove are protected by law, and we got to run a legitimate operation here. As much as I love to chum those little rats and call it a day, we just make sure they aren't hungry enough to raid those crab pots. Toss them a few clams to keep them busy while you're out there. All right. Keep the peace. Toss the clams for the otters. All right. Well, we'll see. We'll see. They're they're protected, are they? We'll see if I can kill them or not. That might be simpler. Anyway. Uh, all right. So where am I headed here? I'm headed out here, and 
I got underwater breathing, but okay. Sea Monarch. All right, there they are. Oh, really? I get the Klaxi guy comes out of the sky and helps me fight. He's a good swimmer. Who knew? All right. So, uh, what the heck? Oh, my gosh. So, there's, like, heavy currents. Wow, you can really get around on the currents in this. It's pretty cool. Uh, okay, can I skin some of these or what? I guess not. Okay, no skinning of these guys, evidently. Uh, okay. Okay. Okay, let me see. Uh, okay. Okay, there comes the otters. How do I how do I feed these oh my gosh, these currents are quite a challenge. So how do I, what do I do about these what do I do about these otters here? Feed the otters like this, okay? And there's an otter. I can feed this otter. They are in love with me when I do this. They're so happy. Amazing. Okay. So empty crab pot. One of ten. Empty crab pot. Okay, that's another one. Uh, all right. Can I... Can I still do this with the otters? There we go. Have some food, otters. Okay. Now, do I have enough of the... I don't know how much of the bits I have, or I don't even know what I have here. Oh, I guess I got some bits. I guess the bits I have here are adequate. It takes two bits for each one, right? That's what it says. Yeah. Two bits it takes. So, uh... And then there's an otter. I can feed him with this thing. Okay. I guess I could put that on the bar. Makes the otters happy. Here's a couple bits for this trap. And uh, there's another one. Uh, yeah, I don't know how many. I don't know how many grouper bits I get from each from each uh, grouper or sea monarch or whatever they are. Sea monarch see how many bits I get. Did I get? I got no bits from that one, I think. Chunks times two. Yeah, I got them. So I guess I can, I guess I can do it. So, uh, that's six. And, uh, Sea Monarch, huh? All right. Probably can... All right. Here's another one. There's a trap. That's seven of ten. How many more do I need here? How about this one? Okay. Oh, I know. I need more chunks. I definitely need more chunks, and I gotta find more otters too, right? I I don't have, I don't have the, I don't have. There's otters. There's an otter right there. Let's let's see if I can do it. Can't do that while moving. Okay, fine. Okay, I can do it while staying still. Then I'm swimming really fast. I got. I can go really. I can go pretty fast. Okay, Sea Monarch. There we go. I don't know how many bits I have. I should open my bag and see. I only have one bit. I need two. Okay. There's an otter though. I got the otter food. I can do that. Okay, seven of eight. There's another otter. Throw them a bit of fit. Throw them a bit of food there, and they're in love with me now. Okay. Okay. All right. Otters. Otters are fed. Here we go on these things. How how many? Eight of ten. I so I. 
I still need more bits. I still need more bits for the for the traps. And I just need to find some more some more of these monarchs. All right. And I only got one bit from that one, so Whoops, what am I doing here? All right. Okay, got it. Now, do I have enough for one? I got I got three bits. So I just need one more bit, I think. Because that's nine. So I got to find one here. Oh, that was pretty easy. Uh, okay. There's two bits. I can just do it. Okay, two bits it is. All right. So that appears to be everything there. Um... All right, I can fly out of here. Uh, is that down here? No, that's the dig. Uh, all right, well, I'm gonna. Before I turn these in, I'm gonna. Is this a flight point? There is a flight point here because I did fly here. Yeah, it was a kite master right there. Right there is the kite master. Oh, hello. And I'll fly yeah, over this way. I'll fly over this way, and that'll be a little easier to get to wherever this thing is and go maybe to that thing as well. Uh, there's something up there I have to do. The heavens hum, the heavens hum with war. Okay. So yeah, um, I I don't know. I mean, it's just like anything else. If you if you really want to turn something into a job like a real job that makes money, you can put lots of effort into it and it probably will happen. But, you know, you, you um, like I said, it doesn't matter to me that much if, if that happens or not. But I think I will try to have that happen, I guess, uh, because it just seems like what you do when you want to be good at a job. You try to, you try to make that happen. So, um... Anyway, it's fine. It's fine. I'm I'm happy with uh All right. Oh, and I can kind of like um maybe before I uh before I set down here, maybe I can say hello to everyone and tell them I'm still lurking. So that's it. I think I'll do that. So uh um it's my process here. Let me see what I got here. Uh Okay, so lurking here. Still lurking here. Have fun. And I'll I'll just do that. Let me see, I can uh, copy that, right? And uh and I can just kinda say hello to everyone real quick like and let them know that I'm still there in case they forgot that I said I lurked. I'm still lurking. I'm still lurking. Just so you know. Uh, going right down the list. All right, I did it. And, uh, and we'll see what that does for me, if, if anything. Okay, so what am I doing here? I'm here to uh, do nothing. I, what is this? Gore spine? It's really not what I'm looking for, I'm sure. Uh, what am I looking for here? Uh, where am I? Where am I? I'm over here. Uh, see, Skier the Bloodseeker. I'm awakening this guy, so he's going to be here somewhere. He'll be any. He'll be. It's anyone's guess where he might be. Uh, he might be in a cave. He might be under the ground. He might be in a hole. Uh, I'm not seeing any evidence that there's a hole here. But if there's a, oh, there might be a hole here. I don't know. I don't see any holes. 
Well, I'm sure I'm not seeing any holes. I, so it's either going to be, will he be under the water? He might be, actually. He may well be under the water. Let's have a look. Can I not go in this water? What What's the deal with this water? Is this like the water that I can go in or something? What? I, evidently not, but I don't know. Sometimes you can't, like, I don't know. It would not let me go into that water and turn into uh, fish form. Uh, this kind of looks like there might be a cave here. So, that's indicative of a cave, I think. Sure is. Not an invisible cave. It's a, it's a, it's a nice cave. All right. Uh, all right. All right. This kind of reminds me of uh, Vashir. These underground caves. All right. Well. I'm poking you with my stick. If you're not careful, I'm going to poke you with my stick. Okay. You're not getting the message here, evidently. All right, let me see here. Okay. Maybe I need to kill all these guys here. Okay, that appears to be everything as far as... Oh, there's one more guy over here. Okay. All right, very exciting. What is this? Blood-soaked chitin fab fragment. Uh, Blood-soaked chitin fragment. It's a trinket, a blue trinket. It is bind when picked up. It's not, not of much value, really. Okay, I guess that's all. I just killed all the guys here. All right, here's a thing. Tuning fork, right, or whatever. Okay, see what I got. Skier the Blood Seeker. Awakened. He's awakened. The only way I know is that of the warrior. Uh, okay. That is much to be done. I say we need less talking and more fighting. Swiftly. Okay, the hunger. They said it would be fierce, but I did not expect anything like this. It is strange to feel so weak. My, I claim my reward. And then what? We've got like strange appetite thing and uh, my time. The most of the meat of the starfish brought not only strength, but clarity of mind. Bring me to this. Bring me. Bring this to me from the nearby shallows. Wait much longer, and I will devour you instead. Okay. You know, you guys are just. You know, you guys have really horrible manners. Help me regain. Grain, help me regain my strength, and I shall show you. I smell the salt sea nearby, and where you find the sea, you find briny clackers. Bring me their tails. I must feast upon their flesh. All right. And what else? A bloody delight. A warrior is not ready for battle unless he tastes the blood of his enemies. I am still too weak to hunt, so you must go in my stead. Only the blood from the fiercest predators will do. I can smell their presence in the waters outside this cave. Okay. Bring this to me, then perhaps you shall see why they call me the blood seeker. Preserve the cycle. Okay. All right. So let me look at the map here. I was going to turn, what was I going to do? Was I going to go up here? Heavens hum with war, yeah, I was kind of I was going to kind of go up there too. I've done this, now I've got all these quests. I was going to like do, like turn this in, turn these in, turn, you know, I don't know. And then I was going to go up there, I guess. All right, let me see here, I can, well, Am I like, I guess my macro won't, won't do that. I see. So basically, uh, 
Okay. It's not the best macro. I think I need to refine it a little bit. Okay. So, uh... This is actually a much bigger area than it looks like. Okay. I like my Cloud Serpent. I want to use it. Okay. Okay. Cloud Serpent. Come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go Cloudy. Cloudy the Cloud Serpent? Is that what I'm going to call him? Maybe so. All right, now. Let's see what's up here. Rick Rick Call the Dissector. Looks like he's dissected a yak torrent here. Or torrent yak, or a couple of them, looks like. All right, well, fine. See what he has to say. The Xanthic Dig. From the looks of it, this mantid was just recently broken out of his chamber. He lets out a hacking cough. Dissector has returned to get your reward okay you are not like the others I hear the Claxi calling cough I just need a moment okay you address your hold off the Xanthic while recall the sector gathers his strength oh my okay the cycle will be preserved These are the ones here. Okay, I can I can hold him off here. Okay. Okay. Um Paragon Wakened. My strength returns. Speak to me, Wakener, before I report to the Claxi. Look at you. Many parts and pieces. Yes, all of them so good at killing. Fascinating. I must pick your brain sometime. Wahahaha. Okay. And uh, so here's a what? A 437 leather wrists. Yeah, I guess I want that one because it's the... Uh, okay, here we go. All right, now. Specimen we request. And fear takes root. These are dailies. We are done. Okay. It is the will of the clocks. Right? All right. So, uh... Then I'll just, uh... I'll just go up here. I will. Uh, what was that? Oh my God! That's so. That's the uh, the objectives I have. Okay. So I want to go turn these in. I'm going to turn these in, and then I'm going to go head up there. And that's the one that's been like the longest I've had. So I'm going to go ahead and work on that. Uh, I don't know. When it comes to the dailies, I'm not really doing dailies per se. But if I if I uh, If I'm doing a, if, a look, if I'm doing an area anyway, it seems like it's a fine idea to just do some dailies. Oh look, I got more uh, lurkers. How many? How many is that? What does it say there? Is it nine or eight? Is it really nine? That's a lot. Wow. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm okay. I'm right here now. Um, so I want to tell these guys. Uh, I want to tell these guys I'm done with this one thing. And then I'll get Patience. whatever they have next. Patience. Fresh pots. Fresh pots. Select your reward. Oh, right. Um, um, 
Ten. Wow. Woohoo. Ten. Hello. Hi. Thanks. Lurkers. And chatters. All right. Okay. So, uh, all right. Okay. Let me see if there's anyone to follow. Okay, let's see here. Uh, I want to have a look. Make sure I'm following anyone that should be followed here. I got to check my followers. I got... Okay. Okay. Following you all now. I got you followed. Okay, I'll say here I can do what? Can I do... Uh, Okay, uh, what if, uh, I got to go back here. I got to say whisper, okay. And lurking. I got followed and lurking, and I got to make sure I am lurking. Let's see, Caro01. Let's see here, uh, Let's see if I got Kara01 on the list here. Okay, I got to do this. Uh, join. Uh, copy. Copy link. And I'll just paste that in there. And. Okay. Okay. Okay, uh, all right, perfect, uh, so, uh, okie doke. Okie doke. I guess that's the thing. So uh, it went up to 10. That was an all-time high. Uh, that's amazing. So uh, let's see. I got everyone followed, and uh, now I got, uh, let's see, not bad, not bad, not bad, green, not bad. Why is he calling me green? Why well, she calls me green? Because I'm a, because I'm a, a, a I'm a druid. Is that May the reason? I actually no stone. idea. Have I have no idea. No idea at all. Meet the captain. Meet the captain. Okay. Uh, I'd say something about it's time you meet the cap anyway. Stay okay. Focused. Well, I wasn't reading that. I should have been reading it. It's better if I read. But uh, yeah. All right. I'll be right back too. Oh. Uh. All right, I think that'll be better. And I want to make a, mi a minor change to the ventilation system in here and uh, get some air flowing and stuff. I don't know, I should probably just open a window, but I don't know, nerds never do that, right? So, all right. Uh, all right, meet the captain. Where is the captain? He's in here. Okay. What was captain Soggy. Sue Dow, crew of the Mist Hopper. Claim my reward. I run a tight ship, even if she is at the bottom of the sea. All right. Claim my reward. A little gold. Don't mind those two idiots. They're caught up in some fad or something. I'd wager they feel pretty dumb about that picture in a couple of months. Okay. Walking dog. Dog ain't my pet. 
I'm getting too old to walk him. He loves to swim. Leaves his mark. All right, and uh, don't mind. Okay, wait, no, that's sharking. Okay, oh, planking, right? Uh, I'd wager they feel pretty dumb without picture a couple months. Okay, right. Old age and treachery. Look, I ain't gonna. I ain't got reason to trust you, but there's a task I can't give to my crew. I need to search the wreck of our old ship, the Miss Topper. Bring back the charter. It'd be sealed up in a silver tube in a foot locker. It's sort of uh, incriminating. I can't ask any of the crew finding it if they decide to visit the old girl. She's resting on the shelf of Mazu. Go to the west. I suggest riding the rip current out there if you got the stomach. They're all over the shelf. The you bet. Okay. Rip forever. current because you can travel really fast when you get down on those things. I noticed that, actually. So uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the Kite Master up north. And that's what I'll do first. So uh, I'm going to go to the Sunset Brew Garden. Welcome. Okay. Travel safe. All right. Going up there, doing that thing. Well, I can see there's a lot of stuff here that are their quest objectives all over. There's a Zandalari War Scout. That's a quest objective. Maybe. Uh, doesn't really say, actually. So. So I'm heading up here to whatever this is. And, uh, um, yeah, just, uh, yeah, I still can't figure out. I've been, I've been. I'm looking at my notes, of my tech notes, and I'm like, uh, I still can't figure out why I can't use my stereo stream as a monitor. It doesn't make sense. My stereo headphone stream should be a monitor. It worked one time, one time only. And I have not, oh, I have not been able to do it ever since. All right, so here I am here, and I have to go do something, which is over here. All right, I'm going to go do it. Uh, it's probably in one of these buildings, isn't it? Uh, probably right in here, I'm guessing. I'm going to say this is where it's going to be, huh? All right. Get Stealth Kitty. Stealth Kitty. He's a kitty that can become invisible. Stealth Kitty. There's something here. It's one of those things that pick... Oh, Scroll of Auspice. All right. The scroll continues on for several stanzas. Stanzas. Someone at the brew car garden will be able to decipher its message. All right. So basically, what I'm after is what is this? There are they are they play practice fighting, or are they both uh, Korthik the war caller and uh, whatever whoever they are. I don't know. I need to just I need to just get this guy, huh? This looks like a lore object here. Amber. Okay. Heart of the Manted Sworn. I, I don't know. I, I didn't get a lot of these, I think. I, I don't think I'll come even close to finding all of these because I'm not really looking that hard. Uh, is he? Oh, he's, oh, he can detect stealth, can he? All right. Fine. Okay. Well, it's your loss, I'm thinking. Uh, it was a sonic thingy or something. I'm not sure what that was all about, but he just saw me, I guess. 
he saw right through myself because he had some kind of sonic ability, I guess, that could see through stealth. Um, and... Okay. I'm thinking basically, uh, yeah, it's much cooler in here now. I'm, I was afraid that, uh, so I want to go around in a circle. I guess, uh, I guess maybe I'll, I don't know what, what I should do now. I don't know if I should just, this is so far up here. Maybe I should keep doing quests for these guys and then, uh, just see what happens. You are most welcome. Okay. I'm most welcome. Okay. We're not here to hurt anyone. We're just trying to make some brew. Making a little brew. Making the brew. Okay. Making the brew. Would you mind if I took a look at this thing you just found? Reads the entirety of the message. This scroll. This is this prophecy. It's terrifying. Really? Okay. Select your reward, which is this or this, which is worth more. So that's the one I take. And then uh, it looks like I've got... Uh, I've got this guy... Why are you always in a rush? Okay. Fate of the Storm Stouts. Okay, I'm looking for my family. I told several of the Storm Stouts come across the wall to help face mounted threat. I mean to find them and join them. Have you seen anyone named Storm Stout come through here? Would you mind helping me ask around? Sure. Storm Stouts. Okay. Chen Storm Stout. Sounds like what? Ask some of these people if they're Storm Stouts? Oh, look, there's more uh, quests over here. Greetings. Greetings, the river. I have failed, fellow brewers. I took some supplies out to clearing the east and left them there. Now, with the shaw corrupting the land, the manted on the prowl is too dangerous for me to bring them back. Look for them, etc. Okay. Hello. And uh, the recipe said, rending daggers of the great ones. Ulan ponders this line. Mushan, that's it. There's plenty of Mushan roaming out there with these great big teeth. They're as long as daggers. That's got to be what the recipe calls for. Jeez, okay, so okay. Um, all right, you let's talk to this guy. One who has much. Have you seen anyone? Oh, you got another quest to bound in the shade or about the scroll you found. I must admit I've often considered taking some of the area's residual shaw essence and incorporating it into a brew. But I suspect that this is the shade which our recipe calls for. You will find large amalgamations of Shaw in the southeast of the tree, though you may also be able to harvest some from the local wildlife. Okie doke. So, Shaw essence. And then heart. it says, uh, have you seen anyone named Storm Stout coming through here? Yeah, a few of them. The biggest one, Han. Han last went out to fight the fight at Corvus. Hasn't seen him for a few days. Hope Family, he's all right. Friends, okay. Uh, talk to this guy. Is, is your name really Storm Stout? Speak with Big Dan, Storm Stout. Big Dan makes a combination of sleepy, fitful grunts and snorts. Yeah, Storm Stout, all right. Uh, Next one. Okay. On and uh, this guy here. Greetings. Uh, rending daggers. The scroll mentions rending daggers of the great ones. I'm, I've got a feeling I know where to find them. A pair of mounted lieutenants patrol the hard march to the south. Each one carries a ceremonial dagger. Bring those daggers back here. We may be on the brink of may something big. Bring you joy. And have you seen any storm stouts here in the brew garden? You mean other than Lazy Dan over there? Sure. I spent some time with Evie before she went hunting up north. Such a sweet girl. And, of course, who could forget Mama Storm Stout? Do you any more peoples to talk to? Looks like not. Okay, so basically just talk to Storm Stout here and say whatever. Big Dan, Han, Evie, and Mama, I understand. It seems like Dan will be safe here. I'll go look for Evie, Han, and Mama. Take care, Elisa. Okay, and we got it all figured out. So he's going to go off somewhere and do something, and possibly. Rest of the storm stouts. Absolutely. Okie dokie, yeah. Uh, maybe I should go look at my timer and see what the deal is on this. Uh, 
So let's see what we got here. Twenty one minutes. Looks fine. All right. Okie dokie. There we are. All right, now, where am I going next? Am I going down or up? Up or down, up or down? I think I'm going down. I'm going to go all the way down to Soggy's Gamble, and I'll just go from there. I'm going to go. I'm going to go around. The, I'm going to go around the world like before. Uh, so, Soggy's Gamble, it is. I like that idea. Okay. Kitapults, kiting, kitapulting me up into the sky here, and then I can ride this kite. So, Chen Storm Stout, I sincerely hope our paths cross again. Okay. Thanks for the follow, no problem. Okay. Okay, so um, now I'm here. What do I need to do? I need to do something, that's for sure. I need to uh, go to the... Uh, walking the dog. What am I supposed to do here? Uh, how do I walk the dog? Is it a shark? Is it a whale? What is it thing? Let's find out what it is, first of all. Can I call it? Do I call this thing Summons Dog? Oh, he's like a sea dog or, you know, thing. So he's got like a, I can actually, dog food. He's got a quest. Dog wines. He's like a sea lion or something. All right. So he wants dog food. And, uh, all right. So what am I supposed to do here? Uh. I'm supposed to get this, huh? Is this dog food? Does this look like dog food to you? All right. Okay. Did he get the dog food? He got the dog food. How fast can I, I go really fast on the surface here? Uh. So what happens if I get on a mount like this, like a regular ground mount? I go 210 on the surface. I go 197 on the surface. All right, well. Oh. Yeah, okay. All right, Claxi, whatever. Uh, dog food, woohoo, so I can get his, dog looks at you quizzically, his name is Dog. Alright, what's this, uh, Angel of Death, oh right, I see, it's a, uh, it's a thing for, uh, am I breathing underwater? Okay, yum, yum, yum. Okay. Okay. 
And I keep clicking on him accidentally, but whatever. I think I can probably... Okay, did he get his dog food? Get your dog food. No dog food for you. I, did you do it already? I don't know. Let's see, dog food four, I guess he did. I guess he did. I guess he did it that. So let's see. Uh, well, I guess we don't want to go too far that way. I guess it's going to be more like the guys are going to be sort of around here. So if I just kind of look around, I should find... I should find these guys. They like these rock shell guys, I guess. Where's he going? He's going to the wreck of the was name, or what? what what's he doing? He did not do his thing. What, what, what's he doing? Why'd he come up here? Why is he doing this? Is this the wreck of the... Oh, I gotta get the, uh... I gotta get the thingy. Okay. He's telling me sealed, sealed chamber, tube chamber thing. All right. Got it. Dog fed. He's fed now. He got some food. Is he going to follow me now or what? Let me see. So what else do I do? Okay. Uh, oh, this one might not be an edible one for this guy. Dog doesn't want to eat this. He wants to eat these guys. Okay. Okay, Claxi, Kilrook the Wind Reaver, descended from the sky. Did you eat that already, or what? I don't know if you did or not. Dog food, six out of ten. I guess you did. Uh, all right. There's probably another one here. Oh, yeah, you do it right away, don't you? Yeah. Dog food. You get it. You get it pretty quick. You're quick in there. As soon as that thing hits the, hits the dirt, as it were, the sand, the silt, as soon as it hits the silt, you're ready to go. Okay. All right. You've done it already. Okay. Eight. They got to get another one here. Okay. All right. There's one. Where's dog? Did dog get his dog? Where? There he comes. What did he just do? Uh. What did he do? What did dog do? So where, where am I supposed to take him? I'm supposed to take him uh, like uh, bring dog to the silt vents. Okay, I can do that. I'll bring him to the silt vents, which is in this direction. How many things? Bring dog. Okay, yeah. I, uh, he found he found the whale corpse. I guess. I guess that's the deal. Okay, dog has a little bite to eat. And there we go. And I can do that. He's done his thing. Dog licks his chops. He's looking satisfied. You bet. And then what? What next? And I gotta bring him to, I gotta bring him to the silt vents, which are up here somewhere. All right. Silt vents. I think I think it might be here. Dog likes the silt vents for some reason. Silt vents, you betcha. Dog loves the silt vents. I don't know why, but he does. There's a lobster trap there. Is that it? What now? Now that I brought you, what? Are you done? Are you going to follow me? Are you going to stay there? 
Gonna keep following me. I guess you're gonna keep following me, so that's fine then. Gotta love it, okay. So I wanna go this way then. I think basically, uh, I'm headed over to Kuiperite Shards. It's going to be an island. I don't know. Dog's probably not going to want to get out of the water much. I don't know. I don't think that's what he does. I think he's just a water guy, pretty much. He's a water dude. All right. Look, he's going to follow me. He's going to follow me around. He's following me around. Look at that. Well, okay. That's interesting that he wants to follow me all the way around here. So what am I supposed to be doing here? I'm supposed to be getting what? Silk. Uh, I'm supposed to be getting some kind of shards. All right. Well, is he going to aggro everyone as I go up here? Oh, I guess he's not. He's not going to do any aggroing. Oh, I got it. I see. It's these things. These things. And he's not going to help me fight. I can see that. He's just going to hang out. He's going to hang out with me, follow me around, and keep me company. But he's not going to be much help when it comes to fighting with these guys. All right. All right, there it is. What's that thing? Anything? It's nothing. I'm not sure. Okay. That's a crit. Okay. All right. Critical strike. All right, now let's see what... Since he's not going to help me much, I guess I'll just uh, see what happens when I fly. I'm not sure what I'm looking for. I guess I'm looking for more of these guys. Okay. Right. Okay. I cannot stealth. I'm I'm somehow What is this? What's going on here? Are they attacking uh are they attacking dog? Oh no, dog. How tough Dog. Is he dead? Is dog dead? No, dog's not dead. Dog is fine. He's his health's hardly gone down at all. He's pretty tough evidently. All right, but this is why I was in combat because dogs follow me around. All right, let's 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 be a little stealthy here, you guys. All right, dog. Okay. Yeah, I don't know about these worms. These things never made any sense to me. Some kind of mineral creatures. They don't seem like they don't make much they don't seem like they make much sense to me, but you know, not that they have to or anything, but um pretty good imagination involved in the thinking up of these things. Oh man, how many of these things do I have to kill before I get all the shards I'm trying to get? Alright. I got four more anyway. Alright, there's more of them down here. I don't know what these, these Klaxi want with these things. They seem to want something from them. They're tending them, sort of. Uh, okay, I got six. 
What do I need? What else do I need? And I also need uh, dread spore bulbs destroyed. What is a dread spore bulb, and what is they're all over the place? What do they look like? Are those those little things that look like blood petals? I think they are. So how do I destroy them? I have to just get close to them? I destroy them by getting close to them. But not running over them. Alright, well, I just, I see what they are. I just, I, I can't get too close to them. I have to... I want to find out what happens when I run over them, if that counts. I don't think it does, though. Well, in this case, it, it didn't it didn't register when I ran over it. Sometimes they open when you run. Oh, see that one? That one. That one opened up. That one opened up when I went when I went near it. All right, dread spore. There, these got to be just like all over the place. There shouldn't be. Uh, it shouldn't be that hard to find them. But there's one. There's a few. There's a couple. Okay, here's one. I destroy it. I guess it's better to destroy them, huh? Okay. I did it. Destroying them, just going over them and having them open is not the same as destroying them. There's two right here. There's number one. There's number two. 10. I need 15 total. Looks like anywhere on this island is fair game for these things. Here's a couple more. Oh, I can be flying. Oh, that one opened. I don't want to be too close to it. I don't want to land on top of it. Looks like one more. Oh, come on. Dog. Okay, there you go. All right, come on, dog. Okay, let's see. All right, so basically uh, that's that. And then I got to go uh, up here and get these. And then I got to go up there and get those. And, uh... Um... Is okay. Is he flying? Not really. He is still trying to follow me, though. He's, I wonder how. I wonder where he'll follow me. Will he follow me all over here? Oh, looks like there's stuff to do in here too. All right. Uh, starfish. Right. Right. Uh, clacker tail. What's his name? Wants clackers. Okay. He also wants starfish. All right, more starfish here. All right, clacker tails. Oh, these can be skinned. Okay. Uh, okay. Dog is level 98. Dog levels with you. Look at that. Dog is awesome. He doesn't fight much though, but he can be attacked. He can be attacked. I got, let me see here, I got uh, this. I'm running around underwater, but I got the uh, bladder, I got the mark of skier, which I, gives me the ability to run around here underwater without having to turn into a, 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 a whatchamacallit. Okay. These can be skinned. Oh, I didn't want to attack that guy, but there we go. I've done it. Now I can skin him and... Oh, volatile blood! Is that a thing that I need to? Oh, we need volatile blood? Uh...
All right. Uh, starfish. Starfish meat. Volatile blood is these guys, huh? Okay. They have lots of blood, so that's not a huge problem. I get some starfish here. Here's a starfish. Here's another starfish. Here's another starfish. There's a lot of starfishes here. Uh, okay, there goes. More starfish. I get one of these. Okay, clacker tails. Those things are tails that I can get. Here's another starfish. I think that's my last starfish, yeah? All right. Uh, okay, here's a bunch of stuff. I can skin these two guys. And uh, that's pretty good. And then I got... Okay. I did it. Okay. Okay, volatile blood and something else and I can skin these guys. And because I want the skins, I want the skins. And dogs hanging out with me. Okay. Yeah, remember in the vanilla game when you had to loot each uh, body separately? Why, in my day, we did not have group loot. Uh. If you wanted fancy loot, you could get the Looterang. I don't remember where the Looterang came in, but it was like a trinket or a toy or something. It was something that you could uh, uh, you could get for doing something. And uh, there was uh, um, then you could you could throw it, and it would go make a little circuitous route, and then it would give you, and you get all the loot. And I don't even know if they still have it in the game, or probably they do. I'd probably still have it, but, um, oh, look, my, did my, my, um, my thing wore, my breath thing wore off. Oh, it's okay, because I probably am done. Am I done? No, I'm not done. Why did my breath thing, oh, I see, because you have to be in the zone. When you're in the zone, you get the breath thing, that's all, and you get faster swimming and all kinds of stuff. All right, you just have to be in the right zone. If you're in the right zone, you get the uh, you get the thing. I see. All right, well, we're not done. Okay, we're not done. Volatile blood. I, I did the blood, though. Done with the blood. Done with the volatile blood. Okay. Okay, and there's uh, a tail. How many of these do I need? I need two more. I need two more tails. And uh, let me see, is that... All right, they're going to help me. He's going to fly down from the sky and help me. Um, I got two more tails. I got three and I got two tails. That's good. Let's get some skins. And uh, that'll do... Uh, all right, now I think I'm I think I'm done. Now is uh, is he gonna keep following me or what? Um, I think I've gotta say. Uh, wait, is this is there a flight path here? 
Yeah, I don't know, actually. Where, wh what is this? This is a bloody delight. This is not, there's not a flight path there. I want to go to the flight path, and I want to see if... Uh, I'm going to fly up there. And then I'm going to do that, and then I'll turn everything in. And then I think that's going to be it for tonight. Uh, at least uh, for this stream. I might do another stream. I don't know, but looks like... Uh, mm, All right, and uh, let me see, where's my, am I close to the, here, here is the guy right here. Now I'm going to fly up to the Sunset Brew Garden, and uh, Sunset Brew Garden it is, and then, uh, um, hmm. Okay. Oh, I got a, I got a thing going off. My alarm going off. But I can say hi to all these guys here while I'm in flight. Okay, and there it is. And while that's happening, I'll be going to check my alarm that's going off. Something's going off here. Okay, let's see how that looks. doesn't look looks like it's getting there all right we're gonna do uh okay I think that should do a lot of cooking a lot of baking tonight a lot of baking happening all right and, uh, all right. Yupper, yuppers. And here I am at the, uh, up here. So then I have objectives up here, which are, uh, large what? Um, Now, dog's not following me up here, is he? No, he isn't. Okay. So, uh... Okay, Stealth Kitty. He's a kitty that can become invisible. Stealth Kitty. Okay, so, uh... Uh... I can get whatever I can get from these large tooth. Okay. All right. There we go. And I can I want their skin as well. Okay. The leather is very useful. Okay, and uh Okay. Hunting in the traditional sense here. 
Let's see how many of these plump intestines I have. Uh, it looks like I got a bunch of them. Okay, and uh, that's that. And uh, let me, I think I better sort this properly because otherwise it's gonna be a mess in here. All right, so where am I going now? I gotta go over here and do something to something. Usually I have to do like kill a bunch of things or put a thing in a thing or do something or collect a bunch of things or uh, what would be these things I'm supposed to be doing anyway? I, I'm going the wrong way, totally going the wrong way. What a lamer. What a lamer. My gosh, do I suck or what? All right, so uh, what? A lamer. Let's see. So I'm supposed to be. Oh, discover the fear clutch. This is the fear clutch, eh? Yeah, I never got this far in the uh, in the um. Okay, I never got this far in the in the uh, uh in this uh in this uh um zone before so i really don't know what's going on here i have no idea i have no idea uh i have no idea what's going on i'm just running around i got some kind of objectives here but all right here we go all right i got a I'm harvesting the shades, I guess. That's is that what I'm doing? All right. So, uh looks like there might be some more here. Uh And what's his name's going to drop from the sky and help me? Boy, he's a fierce fighter. He moves fast. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm harvesting these bits from these things, and then I can go over here and do this. Shade harvested. I'm harvesting these shades. Okay. And it appears like there's something here too in the in the here whatever this is. Lost picnic supplies, really? What what is that something I oh, I guess I was looking for something from for someone. Okay. All right. Those go down pretty easy. Uh And uh, let me see what I got here. All right, that's it. I got them. See what else do I need? I need one more thing. I need uh, lost, lost mugs and lost keg. Okay, so lost mugs. Uh, kind of suggest they're around here somewhere. Maybe. Oh no! And there's a, there's a, uh, there's lost, lost mugs are here. Okay, lost kegs or something. And Chen Storm Stout. Evie Storm Stout. Evie Storm Stout. I was too late. She was so small and I was too late. She should be given a proper burial. Okay. Evie Storm Stout. Okay, proper burial for Evie. Chen. Okay. Am I supposed to be following you or what? Meet up with Chen. Eulogize Evie.
I do not remember uh, where are you headed, Chen? Where? What kind of a proper burial can you give someone here? Where? Are you, what are you going to do? Or are you just going to disappear until I meet up with you? Is this going to be it? Or whatever. Evie Storm Stout. All right. Where's Chen? Meet up with Chen up there. Okay, I see. So basically, that's that. So I'm not going to be doing that. I'm just going to be doing... Ah, here we are. Mugs. Got the mugs. All right, Chen Storm Stout. You're up here. Eulogize Evie. Do I remember Evie? Uh, I don't know. Why would Evie Storm Stout be running around in Tell the bug-infested wastelands? Bound with shade. Beautiful. This will make a fine addition to our brew. Okay, there we go. And, oh, choose your thing. Not learned any of these things. 10, 10, 10, 14, 10, 18. Take that one. In your passions. And uh, let's see Tell what we got here. Toes. Here's, what's her name, the juggernaut or whatever he is. I wonder, maybe I'll soak him for a while. Um... Maybe I never thought of putting Mushan teach teeth in a brew before. That scroll's got some wacky ideas. Yeah, it's the scroll that has the wacky ideas. Keep thinking that. Did you find them? Can it be? You brought me joy, traveler. You brought my things back, and there are other things here. And I'm bound with wood. Okay. We have on rare occasions infused our drink with a core wood from the trench to the west of here. Most of them have fallen to the mantid, but their remains should suffice for Family, our recipe. Okie doke. And Tell me of your what choice. do we got here? Um, do you have any of the daggers yet? I have the daggers. These are the daggers. Look. Okay. Hold the blades to hilt. They were built to fit together, but how to join them? We don't know. Uh... 437 leather. When am I going to get another ring? When am I going to get the other blue ring? Like, I'm, I'm, it just seems like eventually they got to give that to me. So, uh, let's see. Um, um, 656, 686. That's worth more. I'll take that. Rending the daggers, great ones, all bound be wood and shade. Hmm, I've learned a lot about the core thick. Manted in my time here. One heart root of the very tree that they inhabit, the other a dark pillar connecting them with their queen. These shrines are the wood and shade, and my predictions are right. The, dra the daggers should react in their presence. May your days and I suppose you joy. want me to do that, huh? You want me to just uh, go there and do that? Where is Chen Storm Stout, though? Mm -hmm. He should be around here somewhere. All right, because I'm, I'm eulogizing. I'm no brewer. No, I'm here to make sure the brewers don't get cut in half. When these like the defending of the brewers. Okay. Until next time. Okay. Where's Chen? Where is Chen? Chen somewhere. I know Chen somewhere around here. Chen Storm Stout. Where are you? Where are you? You're right here. You should be Evie Storm Stout. You should be right here, somewhere, somewhere around here. Okay. Yeah. All right. Meet up with Chen. I've done it. Evie. They say your name was Evie. You sweet were yours. A sweet girl. I never knew you, but you were family. May your journey in the next world be filled with joy and beauty. Farewell. He didn't know her, though. He's looking for Storm Stouts, but he didn't know them. Evie Storm Stout was killed. She's probably just at the Spirit Healer. Just wait a few minutes. You know, you moved her corpse. Now she's not going to be able to... She's going to have to pay, and she's going to have res sickness. You know? It's most inconvenient. Um, they say Han Storm Stout was last seen exploring Corves. I suspect he headed in the Manton thing. You should meet me down there, Lisa. I doubt that I can handle if a few manted by myself. I don't doubt that I could handle a few manted by myself, but I feel better with you by my side. 
Okay, Chen. Fair enough. You're going to go that way and go that way, and you're going to go. So now you're going to run off there, and I'm going to meet you uh, where? Chen, Storm, Stout, Find Han over there, okay? All right. So basically, uh, okay. This will that can't can't be skinned. Uh, oh, here is the Trent's uh, core wood, huh? Those are squishy. Those little bugs. So here's some Trent. Here's some Trent corpses. And Trent corpses are going to be pretty easy to find here. They're all over. They're mostly dead. Okay. Okay, got that one. There's another one. Okay, there's another one. This looks like an herb. Green tea leaf. Okay. All right. There's another one of those. And uh, how many more trents do I need, I wonder? Okay. Okay, well that was pretty easy with what's-his-name's help. Uh, seven of eight, I need one more, that's all. So there's one here, I'll take this one. They're everywhere though, really. So, but I've got eight now, and there's more up here. What am I supposed to be getting? I don't know, but, okay. Okay, AoE. AoE is the name of the game with these guys. Okay, none of them are skinnable. What am I looking for now? I'm still looking for something. Okay. Okay, right, that's it. I got all the stuff, so here's another one of these guys. What am I supposed to be getting? Just killing these guys? Okay, that's fair enough. Uh, oh. Those are pretty easy to kill, those little scorpions. I don't know why, but they just are. All right, well, somewhere here is, what am I looking for here? Find Han Storm Stout. Well, he must be here somewhere. I'm gonna say he's gonna be in here, right? These mantids are all dead. And here's the Moro Chamber. Han Storm Stout, is he here? He is here, he really is. Oh, Chen is here. All right. What am I supposed to do here? It's a lot of, um... Is trouble brewing? Okay, Embrace of the Wanderer's Way. Everyone has a story. Thinks something over there, but I can't get across. Something's o Oh, I see. That's why you can't get across. I get it. Can't get across, can you? I see that. Look, how, well, how are you supposed to get across? Can you, is there like a, no, can't get across, huh? What am I supposed to do then? Uh, how do I, how do I fix that? Oh, you probably have to go here and attack these things. I betcha. Is that true?
Mm-hmm. Okay, work is complete. How is work complete there? Is this can I can I blow this up or something or what am I supposed to do with this? Is there anything is there any way to fix this? Uh well sure I sure don't know. Is this uh um maybe that's all you have to do is just go down the things and go all the way down. There's something over over yonder. What, what am I supposed to do here? Am I supposed to go down here? What am I supposed to be doing here? Uh, I just don't know. I just don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing here. I guess I'm supposed to be going around in a circle, huh? Okay. All right. So am I supposed to be just going around this way? Okay. All right. Alright, there's something over here, but what? Oh, is this it? Oh, I think I'm in here, actually. Alright, on Storm Stout. This is it. I'm supposed to be... What am I doing here? Han Storm Stout is in big trouble here. Uh, and what? Find the heart root of the Kapori or something well this doesn't look this doesn't look good what what is happening oh he went over there oh my gosh all right well um yeah I'm not sure what's going on here but okay now can I not go like all the way through I can just go this way maybe huh I don't have to like kill them all I can just go down I can go down here. I don't have to like go down there to disable these things. I can just go around like this. All right. Well, this isn't so bad, is it? Where is the? Where is the? Here he is, Chen. You seem a little parched. First EV now, Han. I was too late again. Okay. <laughs> oh, another one lost. Storm said another one lost. You may never know. Earth, but at least he went out fighting. Come on. There is nothing more to be done here. I am going on. Nothing ahead. more to be. They say Mama Storm Stout is still out there somewhere. Mama Storm Stout. So he's gonna he's gonna drag the amber, and what I'm supposed to be also getting the uh the mark of the Empress or something. And is that maybe outside? That might not be in here. That might be outside. That would be like the tree or something. I don't know. It, it kind of sounds like it's like outside or something. So we'll see what's up here. I'm thinking this is the uh, this is a tree. So let's see here what it shows here. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe this is a, something over here. Or it's in here. Oh yeah. Find the mark of the Empress. I found it. Okay. Now that I found it, what do I do? I think I do nothing. I just find it. Find the mark of the Empress. I did it. Find the heart root of Kaipori core. All right. All right. Okay. 
Okay. The heart rate of Kapori Core is going to be in here, I bet you, pretty sure. And we'll see. Looks like it's going to be in here. I found it. And the magical thing is happening with the uh, blades. Do I need to go up here or something, or do I need to do anything, or what? There's no, there's no need for any of that, I guess. All right, I've done it. I've done it. Okay, now. Uh, oh no. Okay. Uh, let's see what I got here now. Basically, I've done everything, okay? So I guess, uh, I'm gonna say this is probably gonna be it for, for this. Um, I'm gonna go back to here. I'm going to, uh, turn everything in. And, uh, I'm gonna turn everything in and then go, just you go down and turn everything in on the way down. All right, bound with wood. We don't brew with wood here. It gives the brew a harsh insipid flavor, not unlike wine. We splits. I get these pieces prepared. We've already gathered quite a few. I'm get a pot boiling soon. Complete that quest. Okay, then, uh, let's see. So there's this. Oh, hello. Look, the daggers, they bound together into a forked blade. We're right on track. I knew this wasn't a beer recipe. All right. And, uh, I don't know, look on the bright side, it might also be a beer recipe. You're making the fine brew garden guard, Night Elf. Let me know if you ever get tired of the whole druid thing. Okay. And, ten something, that's the one I want. And is there any, uh, there's another quest here, I want to pick that up. Um. What wisdom do you seek? Sunset Kings. Okay, Rikun sprites have, have a village to the west of the Corvus. I hope to see you there, Alesa. The All right. Is that forever. it? So that's a uh, village to the west. Uh, so do I want to turn that in, or do I, I'll just leave that one for later. Uh, I think I'll leave that one. I'll just go down here and turn things in. Oh, I, I can take the... Uh, I can take the, the Kite Master here. All the way down, or hello? Yeah, maybe all the way down and then back There's up. No How's one. that? I think so. All the way down, then back up. Yeah, kite master, flight master. Where have you been? Where have you gone? It's like seems like a thing. Okay. I wonder if there's any follows. How'd I end up with 114 followers? It's weird, huh? I'm not trying to get them the same way that I had them before, but I'm, I'm getting them anyway. Over 100. Okay. Learn to master the social media, the social network thing. And then you'll see alright I got everything going here okay alright Okay, so right here is going to be. You have the eyes of one who has traveled. Don't mind much. those idiots outside caught in a sharking. They're caught in a fad called sharking. Okay, walking the dog. How did it go? All right, select my reward. Slow that one. Be honest. Is to be Wait, it might end up here anyway, dang it. Okay, then it might end up here. Okay, 
That's the charter tube, all right. I guess you'd like to know what all the fuss is all about. Soggy lets out a long sigh as he uncaps the tube. Might as well get it over with. Okay, what is it? May you find mastery in your passions. This ain't a charter, it's a letter. Aries handwriting, Soggy Sudow says. What the? This ain't the charter. It's an Aries handwriting. Okay. Soggy, uh, dear Soggy, if you're reading this, means you finally worked up the guts to send someone after your old charter. Well, you're too late. Uh, Soggy uh, Dow says, we know the Miss Topper wasn't hired to venture this far beyond the wall. We know it was supposed to something or other uh, to be a routine job off the coast of the Jade Forest. Um, okay. In other words, we just want to say thank you. Got us all killed, etc. Thank you for chasing fortune on the distant horizon. Thank you for dreaming. Most of all, thank you for bringing us along. Oh, they wanted to say thank you. Soggy says, we'll always be your crew. Soggy ship or no ship, we'll follow you anywhere. Okay. Okay. Even dog. <laughs> all right. So even dog, huh? Life is to be wow. I've got something in my eyes, so he's he's having a moment here. But is he going to give me another quest after he's done wiping his eyes, or what? What what is going on with him, Mr. Soggy? Soggy, what's his name here? Is he is he done? Will he have like a thing Tell here or something? Or doesn't appear to Finally, have a thing of any friends. kind going on here. So I think are we done with Soggy and friends here, or what? No, there's someone over here. Okay, yeah, there's like a, the last one is here. What All is right. your hurry? What is your hurry? Okay, uh, wrecked out here, Soggy took us way off course from our original charter, thought he could pull a fast one on us, ha! Okay, on the crab, and Shark Week. Goodbye. Shark Week. Crabbing is our big money, but the big craze is shark. Keep the peace. All right, and there's that. And then what? What's our? Uh, where's where's my? Where's the kite master? And there's no more quests here right now, right? No more quests except those two. So where's the kite master, flight master? Welcome. Kite master, flight master. Here you go. I'm gonna go there, turn those in. I'm gonna turn those in, and that's gonna be great. I guess I, I guess this is empty. Okay. Okie doke. All right. Okay. And fly into the Kaves, Kavari, Kave, whatever place, and uh, and I should be able to turn this all in and see what else there is. Okay. Seven Lurkers. T-Y-B-M. Okay. Thank you guys. If anyone's your, if any of you are actually listening out, out there, that's pretty cool. Uh, seven, huh? Seven. Now, do I have any of those shards? I got, oh, I got ten. So I can turn this in twice, huh? Seeds of fear. Here we go. Five Dread Amber Shards. I'll receive that. And I can do it twice here. Seeds of Fear. And I'll turn these in. All right, got it. And I'm friendly with these guys, at least now. So uh, there's that. Let me see what else is going on here. I got this. Specimen request. You have the specimen. Yes, I have them. Uh, okay. Fear takes root. Species is interesting, but the risks associated with it are around for study are too high. What? Okay. All right. 
Well, that's that then. Um, all right, that is a. All right, that is a thing for that, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I what, what there's it's, it shows there's one more quest here. Where's the where's the turn in for this? It should be like here. It says. Where would it be? Is it underground? Oh, it's underground, isn't it? I think it's underground. Wait a second. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, this is underground, I think. I think I have to get, like, over here and go down, and there's a cave. Am I, am I right? Am I right? Or am I right? I really have no idea. So, yeah, I just, just don't know. I got... All right, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. I, where are these turn-ins? Uh, is there a building? There's no buildings here. It's all outside. It's all outside. There's no... Uh, uh, who is it supposed to be? Bloody Delight, Strange Appetite, Fine Dining. All right, this would be like, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I seem to me this is like, um, am I supposed to be summoning someone or what, what is this? What's this all about? Where am I supposed to go to, to find these peoples? That's just a nothing. They're doing some interesting stuff here with their sonic whatever. Well, I have no idea here. Uh, I have no idea what, what I'm looking for here. Corbin the Prime, it's not him. It's not him. Wait, is maybe is it him? Is it one of these guys though? Is it like him, the one that has the question mark here? He does not. He has seeds of fear. That's all he has. He has seeds of fear. And then it kind of looks like it's going to be here, but who knows what what? Um. All right. Let me see. Uh, let me see. We're uh, ready for turn in fine dining. Oh yeah, I, it's definitely the cave. I'm supposed to like bring me their tails. I must feed upon their strength or something or where uh I think this is like the wrong I think this is the wrong place. Like I think I think they go like all the way over here is where it was. Cuz I found the guy like he's on an island. He's on the he's on the island or on the shore or something. I found him like in the amber quarry, isn't that right? Wasn't he all the way in the amber quarry? I think so, actually. I don't know. Let me go fly down there and see what the deal is. I thought he was all the way down there in the amber quarry. Um, or he's over here with the venomous ledge. No, it's the amber quarry. But but why did he fly off? Um, and where did he go if he flew off? And where would he be? I thought he was all the way down here. I mean, that's where I found him, right? I found him. I think I found him down here. Like, uh. I think I found him down here with, um. With, um. Uh. I found him down here in this area where I woke him up. He was in this thing, wasn't he? Isn't this his amber, uh, whatever? They're not doing anything here. No, this isn't it. I don't actually remember now. I thought I found him in here, like, uh... But didn't he fly away after, um, I don't know. I would, this just doesn't make any sense at all. Oh, wait. Wait, they moved. The things, the turn-ins, they moved. They moved. 
Oh, they moved. Okay, I was right. He was on that. I, I remembered something about that shelf. I was sort of thinking about that. All right. Well, those turnings moved. They moved over there. When I once I got down here, they moved there. So there's something wrong with the quest tracking. So it's definitely up here. I have to go to turn those in. I'm not sure why that did that, but that's interesting. You never know what's going to happen. All right, so uh, isn't that interesting? I'm just going, I'm just going all over the place. I'm not, uh, I measured my camera angle thingy here. I don't know what I'm doing. So uh, um, I got to remember to unclick my camera after I get there. Oh, I already passed it. Oh my gosh, I think I'm getting really uh, sleepy. Not really sleepy, but a little sleepy. Okay, so. Where was my cave, or whatever it was? It's, it's kind of showing here, but I don't remember. Like it wasn't, it wasn't in the ocean. I already know that I didn't find it there, or was it? Yeah, wait, it was. It was in the ocean. Muck scale, murk scale shall, shallows, and I went around here and I found a cave. I really did actually, and that's where he is. He's in a cave underground. And here's the cave. It reminds me of Ashir. Same thing, basically, except there's not as much giant coral. But here we go. Oh, oh my God, what is he fighting a bunch of stuff here? I got to help him out, I guess, huh? All right. All right. Okay. You will prove useful. I have already proven useful. A strange appetite. Okay, the juices of the starfish will clear my mind. Okay, have the starfish. Yes, give it here. Well done, Wakener. You are expendable. Pieces for the weak. Fine dining. I have much work to do. The sooner I can fight, the sooner I can return to the council. Clacker tail. Excellent. This shall give me strength to vanquish my foes. For the Klaxi. By drinking the blood of your enemies, you acquire their strength. What's this? Is it the blood of the enemies? Yes, waking up. Okay. Why do they keep showing up? Uh. Preserve the cycle. All right. By drinking the blood of the enemies, you acquire their strength. This will do. Yes, this will do. This will do. My reward is something. In order to survive, you must fight. Scent of blood. I'm afraid that I wet my hands with Sark blood while you were away. I am sorry, but I could not help myself now. Watch them attack me. Pitiful. Do they think to take vengeance for their fallen? Do they come to challenge me? Me who have risen a hundred times, etc., etc. Here they come. All right. All right. So basically, I have to keep like killing these guys until they stop coming. Look it up. All right. I.S. Ah, yes, Wakener does not the scent of blood fill you with new strength. They're going to keep coming, right? Here they come. Here comes another one. Okay. Uh, he was easy. Okay. All right. Here comes another one. Okay. Well, hit him with my ranged attack, and he's not gonna. They're not gonna do much. They're gonna come one at a time. They're not gonna do very well. Uh,
Okay, that's ten. All right, here comes another one. Okay, there is another one dead. If they have some money, there's got to be some more coming here. I got eleven of twelve. There's got to be at least one more. Here he comes. Here comes one. Here comes a couple, actually. One. Two. Okay. Okay, I've done this. Are they going to keep coming or what? Oh, that's a big one, huh? I got to, oh yeah, this is the, uh... Okay, that's the, that's the big guy. All right, is that it? Looks like it's ready to turn in. What do I do now? Speak. I did not say my wings were... Did I not say my wings were swift? You move most slowly, Wakener. Really? Well, you just were standing here doing nothing, so you know, I'm not sure why you're saying that. What do I do now? Ready for turning in. Where do I turn it in? Turn it in over here. What do I do? Ah, oh, okay. Well done, Wakener. I will stay a while longer to quench my blade's thirst. You may tell the others of my return, but I believe my swift wings will bear me to Klaxivest before you. Okie doke. That's fair enough. Okay, so I have to get to Klaxivest and turn that in. And then, uh, something. All right, I can go over here. I can go to Klaxivest. Why aren't there more? Why aren't there like 35 flight points in this area? Like in the Jade Forest, they're just everywhere. Maybe they figure you have flight by then or something. I'm not sure. Actually, I'm not sure what the original Pandaria was was like, as far as that goes. And then why would there be this little flight guy in the middle of nowhere? Why would he even be, why would he even be bothered to have this guy here? Um, and, uh, Klaxivest, I'll go there, and that'll be great. And I'm gonna, I don't know, I'm gonna go ahead and turn some things in. I guess I'll keep turning in. Maybe I'll turn in everything, and that'll be that. But whatever I have to turn in, I'm not going to do any more objectives now. I'm just going to turn stuff in. So, obviously, he's going to be here already. And then Sunset Kings uh, is going to be there, too, up there. And so I'll have to fly up there and do that. And we'll see what we got here. Uh, that's why it gave me the, it was a phasing error. That's why it gave me this thing. Okay, Acrylic, the Wind Reaver, uh, the Scent of Blood. Fly with me, Wakener, and I will show you the way of the Wind Reaver. You have succeeded once again. Well done, Wakener. Okay, I can get one of these two things, 11 or 12. So I take that one. And, uh, oh, <sighs> the beeping. Oh, yeah, it's perfect. Well, who said I couldn't multitask, sort of. I should probably set my own timer in a place where I can hear it better, though. Okay, so, Seeker, the something. So that's basically what I just did was I finished that. I finished that story, that storyline, another storyline completed, right? All right, now, uh... Um, uh, let's see, um, 
uh, let's let's mix those up a little or sort those up a little and then so is there no more uh, quests from here right now there isn't there isn't any quest from here so uh, where is the skier the blood seeker okay only the strongest survive. I, I, I wonder what ability he has. It might be interesting to know, but where's the, uh, here's the guy. He just hangs around here. He has no, he has no kite or anything. So go to the brew garden. And, uh, we can turn something in. There's something to turn in over there, like a new area to go to. I still don't have my chef quest done, but yeah, there has got to be a lot more to do because there's like at least, I don't know, it seems like like five or six more objectives, storylines, you know, in the, in the thing. All right, so, uh. I guess over here is where I have to go. I'm not sure what we're doing, but we're going somewhere. Uh, Re Rikutun, Rikutun Village. Is that where we're headed? Or is that just a coincidence? Uh, I think maybe. Oh, wait. There's a thing. I see a... This is really it. Okay, there's little sprites. They're all dancing. Rikutin Village. Oh, wow. They're happy little Chief Rikutin. You are truly welcome to Rikutin Village, Outsider. Okay. These are the sprites. Sapmaster Vu. What are you doing here? Okay, it's a good question. Okay, this is the same guy. Beer made with sap. This is the same thing. Okay, I know. It's the same Red thing. I don't. I already talked to him about this. Sunset Kings. It's been a while since I brewed on the road. Is that a thing? All right. All right. So basically, there's like a bunch of quests now. This will be the new. This will be the next storyline here. Okay. Require first aid seeds from our great mother trees. Responsibility to collect them even in dangerous times like these. Escort my chanters to the mother seeds. They may bring back to them to the collection pit. Okay. There they are. The chanters are following me. And uh, protected from the mantid. Help our people outside or defeat our enemies. And Chen has, or not Chen, but. Boo, whatever. I think pa the old paper said something about fiery wings. Right, he's still, still trying to make beer from the uh, the uh, prophecy formula thing. And incarnations is something we're going to need. The daggers are bound together before we ask you for favors. Let's find out May about something else. And that seems to be everything that's here for now. So I got these down here, which are for the fishermen guys, and then this up here. And, uh... I guess that's going to have to do it for now, I think. Um, I'm, I'm almost at three hours, actually, so uh, let's, just, uh, let's just hearth back to whatever nice place I'm going to sleep for the night here, and we'll just go. Okay. All right, now I'm back here. Uh, <clears throat> all right, well, that's about it for tonight. And uh, I don't know. So uh, this is uh, this is um, this is it for tonight for me. I guess this is a happy little place. It has happy little music playing. Uh, all right. Mm-hmm. And. Uh, so, I guess, for now,
Bye-bye.